Hello everyone. Today I'll be showing you guys the difference between Go Unlimited, Beyond Unlimited, and Above Unlimited. Let's start out with Go Unlimited. Now you'll get Unlimited 4G LTE data with this plan. You'll get there with all all of these plans actually. The difference is is the deforestation limit. Um, now you might think about safety mode or something like where it throttles you down to 128 kilobits per second. This is not what this is, by the way. This is uh, deforestation. It's like temporary slowing you down until congestion clears or until you move to a tower that's not congested. Uh, with this plan, it doesn't have like a little certain amount. It, it just, if it's congested, it's going to slow you down no matter how much data you use. You'll get unlimited talk and text. Now, when you stream YouTube, Netflix, who, any type of video service, any video streaming service, I just use those as an example, it'll be at 480p. You'll get unlimited mobile hotspot, but the speed will always be at 600 kilobits per second, no matter how much data you use on it. You'll get Verizon up rewards. You'll get that with all these plans, by the way. Mexico and Canada talk text me data is included. That's also included with all of these, but I'm gonna still say it anyway when I move over to the other plans. <laughs> like I'm doing now, I'm moving over to Beyond Unlimited now. And telling you about this plan. You'll get premium unlimited 4G LTE data up to 22 gigabytes. So what this mean is, um, you won't be subjected to deforestation until you hit 22 gigabytes. And you won't be deforestized until it's congested in the area that you've been, you're in currently, and you have to be at 22 gig gigabytes. Now, if it's so bad at the point where even if you're, like, um, you're under, 22, under 22 gigabytes and it's still slowing down, it's just that bad in that area. And I have seen it before. Um, it's not so pretty. Um, I, I've seen it in multiple areas. Not in the area I live in, in my house, it's, it's fine. Like, you know, it's not, I don't see it slow down or anything. But I've been in the areas, like, constantly around me and... It's like that every day. Anyway, get back on track. Um, you get unlimited talking text, HD quality screaming, up to 720p. Now, I did hear for tablets, it's um, 1080p. Yeah, do it show that here? Yes, 720p on smartphone footage, streaming on other smartphones. Hmm, for $10 a month. Yeah, I did hear about that too, by the way, where you can uh, pay them $10 more to get it to go to 1080p. Now, I've never done that. Now, I never had to pay for that, but my screen has go up to 1080p, or I seen it go up to 1140p before as well, but my, most of the videos I watch are not even at that quality. And I can't just tell the difference between 720 and 1080. I can see that it tells me that I'm screaming in 1080. And I have an iPhone. So, I don't know what's going on with that. I know, I don't have a VPN on when I'm doing that. It just gets me 1080. Moving on. By the way, if you see it shaking, I have it on the table and I'm moving my arm on it. You get unlimited mobile hotspot at 15 gigabytes at 4G LTE data speeds. And then it will slow down to 600 kilobits per second, as you can see here. My heart rate in a way. And that's throttling. This is not like don't don't mix this up right here with this. Like you know, always oh, slower right now. Like you know, it'll speed up later. Now it won't speed up until you add a data boost or until you um, move to above unlimited or until you just wait till your cycle starts over. So this is throttling. They throttle the hotspot after fifteen gigabytes. That's not deep isolation, that's downright throwing. I'm just gonna be honest with you on that. Uh, you also get Verizon Awards, and you get Mexico and Canada talk, text, and data included. Now, above unlimited. You get premium unlimited 4G LTE data up to 75 gigabytes. Meaning, you know, you won't be subject to deforestation until you reach 75 gigabytes and, you know, like, a throttling. I mean, not a throttling. Until you, um, be in a deforestation area where it's congested or whatever. I mean, a congested area. <laughs> Getting a little bit tongue tied. I'm thinking about the hot spot. Like I said, that's throttling. Oh, on this plane, it's throttling as well. But 
You get unlimited talking text, HD quality streaming, 720p, um, unlimited mobile hotspot at up to 22 gigabytes at 4G LTE speed, then it throttles. So it got me tongue tied up there. I was like, don't get that mixed up. I'm, I'm talking about throttling. And then you um, got Verizon, get Verizon awards. You get Mexico and Canada, talk, text, and data included. Now here, you get five travel passes per month for use in more than 130 countries. Now what a travel pass is like, it lasts 24 hours and it don't charge you extra. At least these are free. Now if you want to do more, then you have to pay for the extra, as far as I know. And then you get um, 500 gigabytes of Verizon Cloud as well. Now for the prices. Now you might see those prices right there, but that's for the four lines. That's what they have it on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go around right here. That's for one line. That's for two lines. Oops. That's for three lines. And that's for four. Also, um, I don't see, oh, it does stay here somewhere. Yeah, here we go. You can also do like a mix and match where Let's say if someone, like you want to put someone on Beyond Unlimited and someone on Above Unlimited and someone on Go Unlimited. Like, you know, it's three people on there that, you know, three different plans. You can do that. You don't have to all have the same plan. Or if you want to put two people on Go Unlimited and one on Above Unlimited, that's the thing. Or one on Go Unlimited, one on Beyond. It doesn't matter. It just makes it that or whatever plan is right for you. And you don't have to do that. Now... I will tell you this, now, if you do the mix and match, it has to be one of these three plans. And you're like, well, are there more unlimited plans? I have a grandfather plan. I'm not on it right now. I'm trying out above unlimited. We may go back to the uh, other one. It's, the one I have is Verizon Unlimited, but it's like you get the Beyond, um, beyond Unlimited benefits. A lot of y'all probably know what I'm talking about. It's the plan they introduced last year on February 13th, 2017. That's whenever they came out with um, Verizon Unlimited. Then they came out with Go Unlimited and Beyond Unlimited, and then they grandfathered it out. So it's pretty much this plan, but it's, it's cheaper. Then they have another plan where, now you may or may not be able to get this. I can get it. I mean, my grandma, she's over 55, so she's able to get it. It's another plan called Unlimited 55 Plus. You may have heard it with T-Mobile. The Asian one who I knew came out with it, and Sprint has it now. I'm not sure about AT and T. Uh, they may or may not have it. I don't know, but it's go unlimited, but at a cheaper price as well. I think they said it make our bill go down like eighty dollars. I I can't remember. I know they did say it went down a lot, but we never did take that offer. So. I haven't been on go unlimited before. I have a friend that's tried it. He said it was great. Like I said, I have I had Verizon Limited, which is the same as Beyond Limited, but cheaper. And now I'm trying to above Unlimited now. For me, I'm gonna tell you about this um the whole deprioritization thing. Well, I was saying like, okay, I don't know if I mentioned it or not. I'm gonna say it again if I haven't already said it. Just because you're under those under tw the uh, 22 gigabytes or under 75 gigabytes doesn't mean it's gonna be still fast for you. I mean, you gotta think about it. It's congested, and I have been in an area like this. Oh yeah, and it's constant like this every single day. It is slow. I would say I was trying to say is it slower or whatever, or like you know lower speeds or whatever. But it mm, no, you can't do anything with it. You you can't um you can't scream Netflix, you can't scream YouTube, you can't scream Pandora, you you can't um even load up a web page. It, it it's that bad. It's pitiful. <sighs> and I reported it to them several times and they still don't fix it. They still haven't fixed it. And it's not just that one area, it's another area that's happening in. And it's another area happening it in. Then it's another area that's kinda like happening <laughs> in there's another area I seen it in before, 
I only went there one time before though, so I don't know if it's always like that or not. Then it was another area where it was like that one day, and then I came back a while later, a few days down the line or whatever, it was resolved. So it was back to normal in that area. But all them other areas, no. So I didn't really notice the difference between these two for me. It didn't really help that I was up under um, 75 gigabytes. Um, even with this plan, I already knew those were going to be the same anyway. It's just like you have a little bit more room here. But just don't think, okay. And I already knew this. I already knew this before I switched. We're just trying out the plan. But um, if or we're just going to the plan to see, you know, hey, if we're going to stay here or not. But just because, like, okay, you have slow speeds in the area. Like, it's always slow in this area. Like, maybe if I raise the plan, like, it's going to go faster. No, nah. If it now nah, if it's always like okay congested where, if you're under twenty two or under seventy five, like, like let's say if you're on beyond the limit, and you think like okay, I'm at twenty three, excuse me, I'm at twenty three gigabytes and this is going slow. It's probably just congesting the area. It might be temporary, but if it's like that all the time, switching to this plan is not gonna help. Unless, or unless you use um like this, like oh, let's say you was at twenty one gigabytes and it's like that all the time, like from the beginning of your cycle to the end of your cycle, it's always like that. No matter how much they use, switching to above is not gonna help at all. Now for the hot spot on the other end, now I I had already had used up my fifteen gigabytes or whatever from my hot spot, and usually I don't use hot spot. It was a situation where I was using my hotspot. I'm not going to go to all of that, but it was the reason I was using it. Normally, I don't really use my hotspot. Usually, I just let other people use it when I was at, going to my, um, my high school. But other than that, I didn't really use it. Uh, I was I already had used 15 gigabytes, and now I switched to the above unlimited plan. It supposed to gave me five. It gave me five more gigabytes to use, but it just wiped the whole thing. Like all of my usage just wiped down, so it just gave me a whole twenty gigabytes, like fresh. Now that may or may not happen with you. Now I don't say like you know, well, it happened with you. It's gonna happen with me. No, I don't know if that was a glitch or what, but it probably was just like you know, because I was on the. I think one representative was saying it was probably because. Um, what was it? I was on a grandfather plan and went to one of the newer plans. So I was like that because it didn't give me all of my travel passes. So that's what I was calling it about too. Um, it gave me two instead of five because it was, what is that called? Prorated. Um, so yeah. Now, the travel passes won't really matter to me at all right now at least. I have never traveled outside my country. I would like to visit another country, but it's already included in the plan. It's, it's Canada, by the way. <laughs> I would like to visit Canada one day, but <sighs> I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe one day I would go. Or you were, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, all right. Well, that'll be all. That's, that was the differences. Have a nice day.